Hi guys, it's Kay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's vlog, I'm going to share to you tips on how to remain undistracted. Okay, so this is a continuation of the vlog that I have prepared for you on the tips to remain productive or on how to stay productive and how to stay focused on the things that you need to do. So given, guys, that we are actually in an online setup, especially for those who are studying or working online, we cannot get rid of a lot of distractions. Not distractions na makakasira, but distractions that could actually ruin our focus and productivity in an online class or in an online setup, meetings or work, right? So for this video, I'm going to share to you the tips. I have prepared four simple tips only that might help you out and you thought might have not contributed so much to you as a student or as a worker, as an online persona out there. But then I hope this works and if you're ready to find out, keep on watching. first tip that I'm going to give to you is number one, silence your phone. That is to mute your notifications or to mute the notifications coming into your phone. Because the moment that rings, you would think that it's your best friend messaging you, it's your crush messaging you, and all of the focus is gone. And then, you get distracted. Kaya importante, in-mute natin ang ating cell phones, not necessarily turn it off, but to simply mute it so that we know what we're about to focus on is our online meeting, online classes, or the session that is in front of us. So, important ang nakasilence ang ating mga notifications, ang ating cell phones, so that the moment it rings, hindi mo alam na nag-ring na pala siya, or you're not really focused na naghihintay ng message. It's just there. It will ring and pop up. You are informed that you have a message, but at least it will not disturb the moment you are called for a recitation, the moment you need to admit yourself, tapos biglang nag-ring ang messenger. That's a no-no. And that's unethical on the part of the online class. So remember to remain a respectful person. Kahit na nasa online world tayo, manners still matter. Number two is to prepare your stops ahead of time. That is, if you need to do something, especially in an online class setup, remember to prepare your ball pen, your notebook, your yellow paper, your book or reference, your laptop, even your phone, including your chargers. Because when you're not so prepared, you tend to go around this way and that way, like, wait lang, di pa ko ready. So, be ready just before the class begins, just before your meetings begin, or just before anything has to be done. Dapat yung materials mo, prepared na. These tips on how to remain undistracted will not only apply to online classes, but even to things that you need to do when you want to be productive, okay? Yun na nga yung sabi ko, pag-prepare ng stops, importante siya so that when the class begins, when you need to do it already, when your presence is needed, hindi mo na kailangan pang pumunta doon, pumunta dito, kasi ready na siya lahat. It's within your reach. So that is very important because personally, as an online teacher ngayon and a student na din at the same time, kapag nandiyan yung mga gamit ko around me, it's all here, alam ko na I don't need to go out of the class. I don't need to exit myself and like leave the camera open or muted and etc. Parang mas pangit yun, di ba? It's better when it's within your reach, your pen. <laughs> My katin ko, of course. Let's say a marker or even a paper over here. So, it's all there. And lahat ay within your reach. So, that's a very important tip that I could give you. Kasi right from personal experience, when I do that, everything is perfect. The third tip, guys, is when you are in an online session, remember the usefulness of an earphone. Natawa kayo or what? Pero totoo, 
When you're in an online session, importante gumagamit tayo ng earphones or headphones natin because this gives us the focus on what is in front of us, not what is around us. Importante gumamit ka ng earphones kasi alam mong ito lang yung kailangan mong i-focus on and you are directed na yun nga, walang noise, walang background, something outside the context of your online meeting, alam mong saan ka papunta, right? At the same time, kapag tinawag ka ni teacher for a recitation, for an answer, alam mo yung microphone mo, pwede mo iganyan lang, hindi ka na, ano yun ma'am? Ah, ah, hello, hello, hello. You don't need to do that because you have it here on your ears and you just remain focused overall. So, using your earphones is very important at this present time. You think it was useless before, but then um, it's very useful right now. Importante yung meron tayong earphones or headphones kasi it removes away distractions. Total removal of the distractions around us. Kaya, I like it as a tip and sana i-apply ninyo yan. But then, do not forget to lower the volume. Hindi naman over kung saan. It will also affect our health in terms of our ear health. So, ayoko mangyari sa inyo yan and sa akin na din. So, yeah. Number four and the last one will be when you are doing something for those who are really busy doing something or when you're interested with the task, be reminded about your goals. Why are you doing this? An unchecked goal, ladies and gentlemen, means unproductivity on your end. Kaya kailangan, be reminded of your goals, go back to your list, and of course, be guided of that. At alamin mo saan ang kailangan mo unang tapusin. Be reminded of your goals kasi una sa lahat, bakit mo nga ba ginagawa ito? Right? So, importante ang alalahanin mo yung goals mo and guided ka nun. Because if you are not, that's a very hard portion already and that might lead you astray, doon napapasok yung distractions. Kaya importante ang aking fourth tip is to really remember what you are here for. Why are you doing this? What's your goal for the week? Bakit ka ba nagising and etc. So, have a goal in mind. Have a goal in mind and end strong. Okay? Because gusto ko kayo iwan with this message. Naisip ko lang to bago lang. An unchecked goal means unproductivity on your end. Yeah, that's a bad one. So, pag ibig sabihin, wala kang na-check sa iyong checkbox ng mga list of things to do, ibig sabihin, you're really unproductive. Kasi hindi mo na-achieve yung mga kailangan mong gawin. So, yeah, remember that. Okay, guys, so among the four tips that I gave you, saan nga ba ang pinaka-natamaan kayo na ginagawa ninyo the other way around kaya nadidistract kayo? Or, do you have some additional tips out there? Why not add to our list of the four top tips that I have given you? And, of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next vlog. Goodbye!